Okay, everybody. Hey, you sent in a lot of questions that we tried to answer over the last five weeks in this Ask Me Anything sermon series. Special thanks to Pastor Chris Poirier for leaving his church, River Valley, and coming and helping us answer the questions. And for our executive pastor, Troy Singleton, thank you guys both for all of your hard work. Now what I want to do is just answer some questions that came in online that we didn't get a chance to answer live. And I'm just going to pose these to you guys and we'll post these answers on social media. Um, next question is for a new believer. They're getting connected into a life group because I know this person who asked this question specifically. They're brand new to the faith and they're saying, man, I need to start reading the Bible, but I don't know where to begin. I don't want to get into Bible translations. That's a huge topic. But guys, where would you recommend somebody who, who's brand new to the faith and never really got regular into the Bible? Where do you recommend they start and why? I, was, I would say John because how he starts out and what he talks about in the life of Jesus. In the beginning was the Word, was with God, and the Word was God. And he just goes on from there. He tells what Jesus actually did. He didn't get caught up in a lot of the church politics of um, what goes on. He just dives right into what the, at the rubber hits the road um, kind of issues and he addresses those. So if you get those basics right, you can go to any other book after that and be able to handle it because you have a foundation of who Jesus is, who he was at that time and how he viewed the world and how he dealt with adversity. And you can move on from there. For me, I actually am one of those folks that loves to do the hard thing and start, start at, at the, the beginning. beginning. In um, the beginning, Jesus, right. Genesis 1-1. So we, we laugh because it's not an easy read, right? right. Um, and we see all these genealogies really yeah, early. Yeah, and it gets the numbers and you start to you, run yeah, out of num steam. Yeah, numbers, kings, and minor prophets. Um, start to run out of steam a little bit. But it provides all of the context of where we ultimately end up in the Gospels. And that's why I say you should start at the beginning so you can have a concept because it's going to answer a lot of those big questions right up front. Yeah. Um, why are we here? How did we get here? Um, and... Like we spoke in some of our other questions that we got, it also lays out some of the realities that we know happened. Mm -hmm. We see physical evidence in our world of a great flood. We see physical evidence of empires rising and falling in right. North right. Africa. Mm -hmm. So I, I came to faith through apologetics, so that's why I lean towards um, mm -hmm. Genesis. So apologetics of understanding the arguments for the Bible um, from science, from history, from antiquity, from writing. Um, I was a very practically minded, this equals this. So show me this equals this and I'm good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and so start in the beginning. But if that does make your head hurt, start in the Gospels. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm always like Chris. I'm a guy who always recommends start at Genesis if you can, but I'm just going to warn you, when you get to numbers, it starts to bog down a little bit, and it may feel a little bit dry. Hang with it, because it gets better. By the time you get to Judges, you're pretty much watching a daytime uh, you know, right. reality show right there, two, uh, thousands of years old. But if you're one of those people, like Chris said, that you, that just doesn't work for you, then I'm going to recommend what you heard from Troy. Start in one of the Gospels. Start in Luke. Start in John. And start reading there. Read through the rest of the New Testament. Then go back and start in Genesis 1 and read the whole thing from Genesis 1 to the end of Revelation. But if you're new to the faith and you're saying, I need to get in the essentials of the faith, mm -hmm. start with John. If you want the full picture and it'll take you a little while. Start with Genesis. Mm -hmm. 